Well, good morning and once again, welcome today um, as we reflect on the subject of God's priority and ours. And uh, yesterday we, be, we began with a very wonderful introduction of understanding God's priority and ours. And today we are going to continue it, and we are going to look at the subject on the danger of doing business as usual. My name is Reverend Alfred Appella and my sign language interpreter is Rosalind Juguna. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today and we ask that you bless every word spoken in this, uh, on this um, altar today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reflection this morning is from the book of Luke chapter 6. From verse 46, a very familiar story. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When the flood came and the torrent struck that house, but it could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them to practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The, uh, at the, the moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. Now today's business environment is very unyielding, but very, also very fast-paced. And so it gets to the moment that falling behind is not an option. And most businessmen in our country today and even beyond have actually adopted this concept that they don't want to fall behind. They want to measure up to make maximum profit out of maximum output. And for you to be able to experience this kind of impact in your business and in all that you do, it can never be business as usual. Things cannot just happen as usual. There are things that must be done so that actually these profits come out very well. Now, Jesus speaks a parable to his disciples, and he talks about the parable of the wise and the foolish builders. The wise builder built his house on a rock, and the torrents came and struck the house, and the house stood, while the foolish builder built his house on sand. And this person, the Bible says, when the torrents came, struck the house, and the house fell down completely. Now, these are very key descriptions of those that hear the word of God and do them, and those that hear the word of God and not do them. Notice the common denominator between the two. Both of them hear the word of God. But while, while one does and applies the word, the other does not apply the word. Yet they both hear the word. Those that apply, do not apply the word, I believe the attitude has been or was, or was it's business as usual. Let's go to Jesus. Sit down and hear what he has to say. After all, he talks. A replica of those who come to church and say, oh, it's business as usual. Let's go to church. Let's just hear the word of God and go home. A replica of those who are watching me right now who are saying, oh, it's those homilies again. Let's just hear what Reverend Appella has to say and go, and go do our business out there. And you forget the word of God. There is a group that decides to apply the word of God, but there are those who just hear and do not apply the word of God. 
When you read the, this parable, what comes out very strongly is our Lord Jesus Christ's emphasis on obedience. So that it is not enough to call him, to just to call him Lord, but we must also obey his commands. What he tells us to do, we must do it. Now, to build on a rock simply means to obey what God is saying, to obey the word of God. To build on sand simply means to grieve Christ's lip service and not obey his will. You know, it may look as you are building a strong house, but if it has no foundation, it will not last. It, no matter how beautiful it is, it will not last. And that's why we must come out of the laissez fair attitude of it's business as usual. It is not business as usual. We must get sit up and meditate. Sit up and think about the word of God and then stand and apply what God is saying in, 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 in his word. Now, one thing that stands out in this parable is that storms will always come. It doesn't matter what type of house you have. A storm, when, the storm, when a storm strikes even in our current contemporary situation today, it affects all manner of houses, whether you live in a mansion or you live in whichever type of a house. But the question is, how strong is the foundation of your house? The question is, are you the kind of person who does business as usual? Are you the business as usual type kind of a Christian? Oh, okay, let's just go to church. Oh, okay, let's just carry the, a big Bible. It's okay when people see me in church with a big Bible, they'll know I'm a Christian. Oh, okay, you know. What kind of attitude do you have for the church and, for your, for, and, 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 and in obedience to God? The challenge that God actually is, that Christ is bringing to us today is that not everybody who professes to know the Lord really has a real experience of God. But those who experience the real manifestation of God's goodness are those who obey him fully. I challenge you to come out of the business as usual mind mindset. I challenge you to come out of the ordinary and step out and obey God. When you began this year, you must have been in Akesha, or some of you may have been somewhere uh, 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 listening to the word of God. Some of you heard from God, God spoke to your heart in regard to what he would want you to achieve this year. But the question is, have you set yourself to obey him? There are those right now, maybe you've decided to fast and pray and say, God, God, may you use me during this time. May you help me this year. We thank God for you. I want to challenge you, even as I challenge myself, to obey the word of God. Let us not be like the builder who built on sand, but let us actually be like that builder who built his house on a rock, who obeyed the word of the Lord. And I challenge you today, get out of that business as usual mindset and get to obey the Lord. Come out of that as usual, business as usual mindset of uh, I must come to church every Sunday and when you come out of church you are another person or I must read the Bible every day but when you came out, get, get, get out of your room you are another person. Get into the business of hearing, reading the word of God and obeying obeying the word of God, and you'll enjoy the blessings that come with this for God's glory. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, may you help us to come out of the business as usual mindset and help us, almighty God, to be faithful in obeying your word. I want to pray for my viewers, and I ask that, Lord, you will help us, even this year, to actually rise up, step up, to obey the Lord 
all for the glory of your name. Thank you for hearing our prayer this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and see you tomorrow again as we proceed on. Bye-bye.